Hey guys, it's Woody and I'm back from my river trip. Today's video is just gonna be some tips for taking some great Instagram photos. And by no means am I saying that like I am an Instagram professional or anything like that. Um, but these are just tips that I like to use when I go to take my photos. And I have noticed an increase in likes, so I'm gonna go ahead and share some of these tips with you guys. Tip number one is to find an object on the map, or a bunch of objects in this case, that match the outfit that you're wearing. So for example, I'm wearing yellow, so I would want to take a picture here in the sunflower field. You were wearing orange, you know, you could go to the carrot field, if you're wearing blue, there is a flower field that's just down the hill, straight that way. You could take photos there. I don't know, I just, I like to use the colors that I'm wearing in my photo. Another tip is to, um, I like to have movement in my photos. I feel like it tells a better story than if you're just standing there or just, oh, thanks Luna. <laughs> um, hey, do you mind? I'm trying to record. Oh my god. So yeah, so I'll uh, I'll try and get photos where I'm trotting or cantering. I feel like it just, it really makes the photo more interesting because it's telling a story rather than just, oh, I'm standing here looking pretty, you caught me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that being said, I will still take photos where I am standing because sometimes they look good, but um, I just, I love movement photos. Another thing, obviously this is a given, but try and make your backgrounds look nice like for example you don't want to have um unnecessary clutter in your background like say i don't know say i wanted to take a picture here for whatever reason i mean that wouldn't really look nice we've got the writing instructor there we've got the coin right above my head it's just it's not very not very aesthetically pleasing so make sure that you pick a background that doesn't have any like ai like even that just looks much better than having all this stuff in the back and then also along those lines make sure your cursor is not in the shot i see a lot of instagram photos where your cursor is there or this make sure that's not in your photo as well it just makes it look um it makes it look kind of amateurish like just Take the time to move your cursor away before you take the photo. So um, another thing that I have noticed is make sure that you have the light focused on you rather than taking it from this side where you're not as well lit. The photo just looks a lot more, um, like the colors pop a lot more when the sun is on you rather than uh, behind you. However, you can get some pretty cool shots here. Um, I can actually go ahead and post a photo where the light source was behind me and I just added a lens flare on Photoshop to um, give it a cooler effect. But uh, yeah, so definitely try to, if you're not going to add like a lens flare or anything, make sure that you have the light uh, in front of you rather than behind you. It, it will just make the colors look a lot better and uh, you can see more detail than uh, on this side. This last tip is going to be more uh, post-production, so this is for after you've taken the photo. Um, what I find really helps to make the subject of your photo pop is to just totally blur out the background. So um, you don't have to blur it out completely or you can like blur it not at all, but I feel like it really helps your subject to stand out. So I don't know, say I wanted to take a picture here for whatever reason, I'll go ahead and insert two different examples. So uh, you can see here how this is unedited and then you can see how it is edited and the subject just pops a lot more. Um, another thing along this line in post-production is to saturate your colors a bit more and play with the contrast because obviously we play the game when we take the screenshot it's a lot bigger but when you shrink it down um instagram will remove some of the quality so if you up the contrast um and also there's a setting on instagram which is called structure i will also bump up the structure a lot because i feel like that helps to add back some of the detail that gets removed when you upload it to instagram um, so yeah, so just up the up the saturation, up the contrast, and um, up the structure on Instagram. Um, and if you don't have Photoshop, these are all things that you can do. Uh, so for example, if you just want to blur out the background, you could use Tilt Shift um, and just 
center the circle or the rectangle on your horse you'll get the same sort of effect just not as precise because you can't get in all of these areas here it will just be a circle so everything on the outside of the circle is going to be blurred out um and yeah so those are my five tips to taking a better instagram photo i hope you were able to find some form of help in this video if you have any other tips that you think should be included in this video and you want to help other viewers out go ahead and post them in the comment section below um, i hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and a very happy fourth of july for tomorrow and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video take care bye